Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. Madden 21 just launched here for the three-day early access. If you just have the standard edition, that's not until a Friday. As it turns from Thursday to Friday at midnight, you can play the game then. I'm just checking it out now, and really I didn't play Ultimate Team too much during the 10-hour uh, early access, so I was just kind of taking a look now, and I thought I'd go over the new upgrade system we're seeing in Ultimate Team. So um, if you did the... Uh, deluxe edition that you will get this power up Lamar so that's what I'm going to show it up with this Lamar Jackson I've got him in my lineup very slow menus off the start very disappointing so we're going to go into his upgrade section here did that not register did it register that took forever to load <laughs> these menus are brutal right now so then it takes us in to the new upgrade path that we see with him one thing that I like here is you see the total cost at the top and as I switch from you know Part, the 76 one to the uh, 78, I see that the running total that it's going to be, 136, one, you know, 296 now after I add that, 3616, and then in the item. So I know it's only going to cost me 616 training to that point, and I have, you know, 1225 bank there, so I can go easily through here and upgrade them. So it's, it's kind of nice the way they've done that. So boom, it just takes forever in the menu, so I guess changing fonts really is a, a very taxing uh, process <laughs> that they couldn't... Uh, work anything else out to new in this game. Um, it is disappointing. I gotta say, there, I haven't played enough to really be able to, to judge, um, oh, skipped one, to be able to, to judge it that much, but it does seem very similar. Um, I'm loving the yard. I think the yard is, is great. That mode is so fun. They didn't implement it like I assumed they would, I guess. It's a little it's like simple the way that they designed the yard how it how it goes through i would have thought it'd been a little bit more complicated maybe with teams open searching a little bit more you know uh, even more of your win loss record i'm gonna add him to the upgrade now so we've got the card this is well this came with the pre-order being able to get him to this 87 overall and oh this is kind of cool you can take a look and change the art depending which one you want i like that one best but is it probably not worth so here it doesn't show me how much it costs to change it maybe here if i do for zero training, that's a good deal, actually. <laughs> and those ones aren't open yet. Yes, I will craft the front art for zero training. Because I like that one more. Equip that front art. There we go, we got the new one. And so he's got, doesn't have a Superstar X Factor slot until tier 7. Still a few away from that. Well, I guess I could. Total cost. I could do that, except. So I've got <laughs> you know, upgraded there. And. There we go. What's, and that's as far as he can be upgraded right now because they haven't done any new cards for him. And it, you get uh, the same thing returning on your upgrade training cost. Pretty much the same system. So I've got 604 training left, so I should probably put chemistries on him first. I don't really have my team set up with chemistry, so there's not really a need to do any of this yet. Probably Sprinter would go on him, I'm assuming. Oh, that would be the... Yeah, here's the sprinter option. Seven, very, very expensive for the sprinter, but it might be like last year too because it does take away strength, agility, and uh, COD. I'm spacing on what that would be. Minus strength, minus agility. It's the same thing. So like last year, some people preferred uh, the brawler because it gave the speed but didn't take away. Oh, it takes away one agility. So I guess it was the yeah one acceleration on tier four. So it does remove stuff to get the additional speed with that one too. I wonder if they've changed that. I think since last year, if I'm not mistaken. The early uh, abilities that are open to him here, we see Clutch, Homer, Indoor, Safety Valve, Gift Wrapped, Roaming Dead Eye, that's pretty good, that one, and Second Wind, Punish Turns, Hammond has a chance to replenish, so that, I would, that's a pretty nice new one, Second Wind, so the abilities that I would probably use looking at here, are, oh, I should check out if the second slot has any like, different ones, Quick Draw. Fastest throwing animations when under pressure. That's kind of good. Gutsy scrambler, comeback, agile extender, higher chance to avoid the first sack, clutch, anchored extender, higher chance to break the first sack by blitzing CB, DB. That's not that great. There's Homer, Roaming Dead Eye, Second Wind, Safety Valve, same ones here. Yeah, so pretty much a couple additional ones here, but you'll get maybe the agile extender. No. Faster, I think the quick draw and maybe the the second wind would seem the way to go. I don't have enough for both of them with only 600 training, so I'll probably wait before I do that. But that's what it's looking like for me, especially getting the chemistries in there too. But pretty simple system. It's definitely streamlined. They made some changes that 
are helpful and I do like, but, uh, you know, they probably, as always, they didn't quite do enough, and these are very, very, very slow to load, which is, uh, incredible in this day and age. It's always, it's so funny to me that, like, you know, I'm playing video games online for, like, you know, 15 years, and in some ways it's like we haven't made progress at all. It's like, we're, like, how are these menus? I've been using faster menus online a decade ago. Why is it this slow now? I don't understand. System looks good. They made some nice tweaks. Just gotta get some more training in there to upgrade this Lamar a little bit more. So that's about everything. We can take a look at the, the fall all the way here and check out his stats actually before we go. I think I am backing out of this menu, which is taking, um, you know, until basically tomorrow for this to actually get here. Slowly go. Look at this. Look at how slow this is going. Look at this. It's still taking the time. Okay. Jake, look at that. This is just literally, look how long this takes. This is like I could read a book in this time. Okay, we're going to compare now so we can see our uh, our, our stuff. So we got up to 89 speed there, which I, you know, I'm pretty sure Tyreek has like 90, so he's right there. 86 throw power, 85. The mid is 77. Deep's only 79. Under pressure, 85. On the run, 87. And an 81 play action, if that means anything. I have seen some more people using play action than I did in other years, so... <laughs> in my limited time online so far. So we'll see how that plays out. Definitely going to do some testing on the play action soon. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. Let me know how you guys are feeling about Madden 21 so far and who you're looking to grab early. I'm Time Bomb. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you guys later. Boom.